Greece, a country steeped in history and renowned for its stunning landscapes, offers a wealth of experiences for all travellers. From ancient ruins to beautiful beaches and charming villages, Greece is a destination that captivates the heart and soul. Athens, the capital of Greece, is famous for its ancient landmarks such as the Acropolis, Parthenon and the Temple of Olympian Zeus. Greece has a population of approximately 10.5 million people. The official language is Greek, however English is widely spoken in tourist areas and other languages such as German and French are also understood. The national currency is the Euro. Greece covers an area of approximately 132,000 square kilometres. Touring Greece in a motorhome in January and February is probably not the ideal time as many sites are closed. However, traffic is light and there are not many tourists about. Some of the best towns to visit include Thessaloniki, known for its vibrant nightlife, Byzantine walls and the White Tower. Santorini, famous for its stunning sunsets, whitewashed buildings and volcanic beaches. Nafplio, a picturesque coastal town with a rich history and beautiful architecture. Chania, located in Greece, known for its charming old town and Venetian harbour. Greece is a member of the European Union and the Schengen Zone, allowing for passport free travel between member countries. Citizens of EU countries, the USA, Canada, Australia, and many others do not need a visa for short stays up to 90 days. Visitors from other countries should check specific requirements. Greece does not require a vignette for driving on its roads. However, there are tolls on many highways and major bridges. Toll prices for motorhomes are about two and a half times those for cars. Road speed limits are highways up to 130 km per hour, urban areas up to 50 km per hour, and rural roads up to 90 km per hour. Most shops are open Monday to Saturday, typically from 9am to 9pm. Larger stores and shopping centres may be open on Sundays, especially in tourist areas and larger cities. The ancient, uh, or the city of ancient Olympia, where the original Olympic Games were held. There's statues and um, cooking uh, appliances and jugs and cups and things here dating back to 4000 BC. It's a lovely site, just wandering around made better by the fact that it's our first day in Greece where we've actually got some sun and it's still very cold but it's great. It's uh, Tuesday 23rd of January we're at this huge archaeological site where the first uh, Olympic Games were held and there's a massive amount of uh, Rock, rocks and bricks and things. It was obviously a very large settlement here as well. It's a huge area. Wild camping is generally not allowed in Greece. However, there are many designated camping areas and caravan parks throughout the country. In many of the remote fishing villages, the taverners don't have menus. The cook just leads you into the kitchen and shows you what is available. You point at what you want and hold up the number of fingers indicating how many serves you want. As you eat and drink, many dishes, plates and bottles accumulate on the table and they are not cleared away. When you indicate you want the bill, the waiter comes over and counts the empty bottles and plates and writes the total down on a piece of paper. And the bill is never very big. Then the waiter removes the empty bottles and plates and upends the scraps and leftovers into the middle of the table. 
The tablecloth is a paper overlay which the waiter wraps up and takes to the bin. For those people who like a beer and a wine, beer is around one and a half euros to three euros per litre in a supermarket and more in bars and restaurants. Wine is typically three to ten euros per litre depending on the quality and the region. from the temple of Apollo. The ride up here was just so steep and winding. Great road, scenery, unbelievable. You can see how high we are. The temple is actually right on the top of a hill. Or not hill, mountain. In five kilometers, keep right to unpaved road. And from here, you can actually see the sea as we get around the corner maybe. Nothing like a herd of sheep slowing you down after you've had a, a horrendous ride down a go track. This could take us a while.
so interesting for the driver though, unfortunately. On our own roads. And now this is narrow, very narrow. Γιατί αυτό το έχει για να το γυρίζει δεξιά αριστερά μπορεί να θες να το πας στο κυριστήριο από εδώ εσείς Το ξεδιδώνεις το κουμπώνεις από την αριστερία και το βάζεις από
We are at the temple of Zanas in Garokas in uh, south eastern Greece. We've parked Ziggy down below at the port and we've hiked up here to the top and the view is just uh, magnificent. It's a beautiful clear sunny day, nice warm temperature. One of the best days that we've had. Don't step left. Don't step left, okay. And we're down below there somewhere. It's uh, Saturday the 3rd of February, we're in Nafplio, southern Greece and it is just delightful here, really great.
Corinth and that's the temple of Apollo uh, this is still at the temple of Apollo site ancient Corinth this is all the excavations at the site it's quite an extensive area. Inside the museum there are hundreds of um, artefacts, monuments and parts of um, statues and bodies and things. We're at the citadel high on the hill above ancient Corinth. That's the Aegean Sea in the background. And then the citadel is built into and on and on this giant uh, hill or mountain. How they built the parts at the top, I have no idea. <laughs>
this happens on a Tuesday afternoon. This is called buying off the back of a truck.
and there's a goat farm I was bought his uh, herd down um, onto the beach here so we're just watching the goings on Sunday the 11th of March 2018 in Fanari, F-A-N-A-R-I, Eastern Greece, lunchtime. This little village probably uh, normally has about a population of uh, 200. There's going to be hundreds here today just eating lunch. 